Yes, people, welcome back to another episode of Untagged. Today, it's episode 12, of course, not Marcus Stamp. I'm Eddie Cooper, you're stuck with me today. Uh, we'll be talking for everything TST, the unseen bits, and everything else. Hashtag, some other stuff going on in the world right now as well, we might chuck in. Uh, and make sure you give us a sub if you haven't already. Uh, and if you want to listen to the full extended cut, head over to any major streaming platforms and search Untagged. Today, I'm joined, as always, by Humbility himself, PK Humble, and our longest serving hashtag member. Lewis Preston. That's Welcome me, boys. mate. That's me, mate. What were we saying? All good? Great, 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 great day. What is it sunny outside? Great day, great age. Great day, great age. It's sunny outside, but I ain't got a trim. That's how I got You've not got a trim? So the hat's, hat's staying on? Can I have a little sneak peek? Oh, Just have a little look. Mm. It's looking crazy on the day. Look at my beard as well. No, I mean, it's not looking too bad. You don't you think so? Look good, no, man. no, no, no. Not worry about not it. quite virgin on length to defend, but what? What that right. virgin to the length? T t t Toby's uh, phrase, no. What's too length to defend? Oh, oh too peng to defend. Okay, not I think he doesn't defend anyway. But in the training video, he's done. He does defend. So keep an eye out for that footage. Who? PK? No, not the PK. I don't say. <laughs> you weren't even there, bro. What's I'm going so on? We, we had our we had our first we had our first training session, and and you didn't even didn't even turn up, bro. What's going on? Uh, I was so I had some family difficulties, so I couldn't get there. Oh, you're gonna make me feel bad. Yeah, you now, feel yeah. bad now yeah, for asking, should, innit? You should. You me. should feel bad. Feel bad. Yeah. I uh, yeah. I don't. Anyway, um, the training session actually that you missed was mm. difficult to say the least. How are you with uh, with running? Running. I don't run much. Like I feel like. Yeah, you I, do. Nah. Actually, yeah, I do you run. Do. Like, but not. Devs is watching, by the way. Just... Not like I don't run for the sake of running. I do like smart running. Mm. So like every with a purpose, but like I think you covered the right ground. Yeah, that's exactly. Wow, come on, man. Smart. Wow, I got you. Think Are I you mean. an agent? Because you can be my I agent. Can be. The way, <laughs> the way you're talking, green links all over the game. Nah, I'm I'm cool. I'm cool with getting myself about. Yeah. But was it a lot of running? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It was tough. Very like tough. what? I think like because you was playing the sevens or it's, like it's the the sevens. I think we were limited numbers wise as well. So it's seven v seven, and we only had like one or two on the bench. Yeah, um, which doesn't help because obviously in the ro like the the tournament we're going to be rotating loads. Yeah. But just for context squad. for the people that are listening, basically we took on our first TST training session. Um, it's got to be completely different to a normal training session that you guys have, right? Well, you got so many rules as well. I mean, that was the the basis for each of these sessions. I think devs will be taking us through the rules, and they're a little bit complicated. You have got like mm. certain areas where subs have to go in on off the pitch. You've got twenty minutes. You got the stop clock, which is the biggest thing because yeah. you think oh it's twenty minute halves. It's not. It's, it's like every time the ball goes out of play, it stops. So by the time you've actually well, is finished that what the they're going to do in T TST as well? Yeah, bro. Yeah. So if is you it, think yeah? about actually how much football you play, right? Yeah, this they're is my stopping point. the clock. You're actually probably getting the most football out of it completely. You might end up playing 30, 40 minutes because I see some stat yeah, one bro. time and like, like the the ball stays in like the ball's out for like 30, 30 seconds. 30, or so, yeah, yeah, like is that so, non-league or is that prem? <laughs> Nah, like it could it, be different. It, it was like the difference between like prem and league two, how much the ball stays in. <laughs> It was like Mad. it was like 40, 30 percent or some shit like that. So you're gonna be doing like it's not twenty minutes, basically, is the idea. The stop clock's gonna be mad. You've got rotation. We've got a what, a sixteen man squad, is it? Fifteen, sixteen? Yeah. So that's so, gonna help. So what's us. so different about um that training session in particular that, that because I'm I've just edit, uh, edited the video. So what makes that session different? I think it, in terms of obviously the pitch and working with, you've got players like Faz, for example, centre back, but when you play seven v seven, you might not necessarily be a defender there. Like in futsal, for example, the best player that I know is a striker in the 11th side. He plays centre back in futsal. Like the rotation's completely different. The way in which you set yeah, up. Yeah, you got to rotate. So I play sevens quite a lot. So you, yeah. yeah, it's, it's a You're a cage player? Yeah, proper cage player. In cage. I played I, on Saturday. Like when that was the first time playing football since I've been back from Jamaica. And I was, I was finished. I was finished. So I still got a bit of... It is hard. I remember when we done something at Hashtag, if the, if the OGs remember... It was a it was a tango game and it was on the River Thames Eww. and it was on like rock hard floor. Like some of the players were so good and I was like blowing. I was like, <laughs> you talk about blowing. There were a, there were a couple in the session that were struggling. I mean, who was struggling? Matt, Matty. Matty. So Matty, Matty Waldridge <laughs> just got yeah. back from Amsterdam. Yeah. Jesus. Christ. Listen, whatever happens in damn stage and damn. But of that place is like you can go for like a normal beach trip. It's calm. Like you have a couple of drinks, but Amsterdam, like it's who just a bit for a different, isn't it? Trip, yeah. Man, that's you know not what I mean? Heard. Uh, yeah, and Pedro. Pedro was struggling. Where Pedro was Pedro? Pedro was struggling. I, Pedro oh, plays asking, cage. Bro? Pedro plays yeah. cage a lot though. Maybe it was the grass surface, the bubbles. 
Yeah. In the, in the clips though, um, I'll, I'll overlay, uh, overlay it in the edit, but Pedro, he was still like sharp when he had to be, but I think it was like he came, first, off, a couple he came times. off a couple of times. Yeah. And I think that's going to be key for TST, like that roll on, roll off, like keep fresh legs. I mean, you've got all these ex-pros and stuff, like most of them are going to be, you know, in decent shape, but in terms of not playing like regular, like keeping yourself like on it, on it, mm. that's going to be, I think, where we come into our own with the massive yeah. squad of young legs. So in, in terms great. of all of our players that are going out there, who, who, who would you guys predict our most valuable player who will be the MVP for Oof. hashtag in TST mm. I'll let PK go first his, his, his team members Um, I'd probably say Jermaine you know mm. Jermaine like he doesn't get tired and that's going to be a big thing that's massive I, yeah. I think you've got you've got other players as well that don't get tired but they're not as agile as Jermaine yeah. like his twisty turny he's very good at holding the ball up right but because it's just such a small space and I've been going through a lot of the players and we, we will get onto it some of the players there they're quite strong so do you think there's going to be a lot more physicality involved than there would be on on 11 I mean, side i mean even judging judging from the football the hold up play is going to be massive like from transitioning when you're defending and you're knackered you're tired you're getting the ball up the pitch to get to like eight someone like at for example who's going to be crucial i think for us mm. like his hold up plays needs to be sick and that's a be massive on part of it because if you are transitioning you're tired someone holding the ball up and able to get you guys up not as quickly do you feel like is it is the best game plan for like TST is get the ball up as quick as you can. Or is it pop, play, pop? Yeah. I think I think it depends. What does Sam Allardyce United? I think it depends on the players around you. Sean Dash. We've we got so we got so many players in the squad. I don't think it's gonna matter too much. Like in terms of booting it long, for example. Like I think we've got so many good players on the ball that we wouldn't necessarily need to do that. Mm. Well, I want to see what the people in the comments say, what I they think, think our, our tactics should be. I mean, be. I think he's yeah. going to be pretty important. Like, I can imagine you're, the way you play on 11 side is, is, like, for cage football, pretty difficult to come up against. Yeah, I reckon I reckon a lot of teams will struggle against me in there. Well, how, do, how do you reckon you get on against one of the players that's at TST, like Cesc Fabregas, if you were to come up against him? I was, say, I was saying, I was, <laughs> I was saying it to one of my friends. I was just like, bro, I reckon I'm going to give him a horrid time. <laughs> He'll probably remember me. He might be front page me. of the news, like, <laughs> Seth, <laughs> they pocketed by Seth TK. Fabry. World Cup winner gets pocketed by Ismir North champion. I reckon he might put me in his will after he sees me play. <laughs> thinking, nah, this guy. I mean, Seth Fabregas is probably one of the, the biggest name, if not the biggest name yeah. at TST, a former not World Toby, Cup winner, no? of course. Not 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 quite a Toby Roma Lauren. Oh. They'll probably announce his uh, name wrong, so. Probably. Have you seen Have you seen on the, on the thing, on the TST thing, it says, like, previous clubs and stuff. Have no. you seen my previous club? What no, go on. Manchester City. Is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. What? When? <laughs> right, they've watched on what, tag. In the they've video. In the video. <laughs> no, not in the video. In, in on the, the actual website. If you... No, oh, no, I'm saying like, where have they got that reference from? No, oh, I'm no, saying they've, you, they've watched this, innit? Because you fill it out yourself, innit? Oh, Shut do you? Up, you yeah, but you did it yourself as well. Everyone, remember Neil sent us the photos oh, yeah. to put it See, in and rare, rare, rare. He ain't checked it. He's nah, so I'm not squad, so I haven't done I You haven't did done it, that. though. Didn't you you do it? I've done the, the filling out, but I haven't put, like, previous clubs. It, it's, it's got your previous clubs on there. I yeah, it does, actually. Previous clubs. My one says <laughs> hashtag and Manchester City. Manchester, that's hilarious. That's crazy. Oh my God. Was like, Someone's you know, reading that, like, going through oh, all they're doing their, oh, like... Sh- we got to watch out of here. <laughs> this guy's a former Premier League winner. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, obviously, we've spoken about uh, Seth Fabregas and that, but if you could pick any player, dead or alive, to to join our team, who would you pick? Paul Gascoigne. Gaza. What Gaza. now? Or any right. prime? Right. Right. Of course, Gaza. <laughs> Gaza, prime. Gaza now would be a great Gaza night. right now would be a great night out in North great Carolina. Night. But <laughs> we ain't winning anything. Mate. Yeah, Gaza, oh. my boy Gaz. What a shout. He's a baller, man. If you say a West Ham player. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'd say Declan cool, Rice. Cool. De- De- Declan Rice. Come on, man. Trust me. Holding really? hold the mid, man. Wow, Such th- a that fan needs, boy, that, man. that needs no space for me, then. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Ronaldinho, man. Get him in. Oh, Seven that's aside. a great what shout. A player. Not Totti, no? I Totti. do love Francesco Totti, man. Well, what about, uh, actually, I'm going to change mine. Emmanuel Labue. Labue, yeah? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Frimpong. I might say Fring what? Pong. Where's Fring Pong? <laughs> Which Fring Pong? The Fring Pong he just wants to sell merch. He'll go. He'll smash so much. everyone. He just wants to sell merch. Oh, some merch. He wants to sell merch. Fring Pong. Boo, eh? He's what? still got one of the best moments I've ever seen. But when he's listening in to, yeah, the, to the Korean talk where he brilliant. goes up to him and just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally yeah, understand what you're talking about. He's a character. Arsenal just loves sometimes just signing clowns, didn't they? Yeah. Bentner was at the game the other day as well. He's a he's a rogue shout. Yeah. Anyway, they've got some weird players, you're right. Um, and obviously we've got we've got loads of absolute legends at TST coming up. We've got uh, obviously Cesc Fabregas, a very decorated player, probably the biggest name. Uh, Miroslav Stock, mm. Chelsea FA Cup winner. Uh, also won a Puskas Award at Fenerbahce. Wow. Uh, What's Kevin Puskas Award? Puskas. 
That's, uh, that's what you would have won for this goal of the season. Is it? Yeah? What it's does that, that uh, mean? It's the FIFA best goal of the year award, basically. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Did you not know that? No, nah, I didn't know that. Puskas. We've, we've submitted you yourself. for it this year. Is it? Yeah. No. <laughs> um, we got uh, Kevin Grosskrauts. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Played for Dortmund. Was a player. Absolute baller. Uh, and then you got loads of USA internationals. You have got Team Dempsey, of course. Clint Dempsey, uh, Jermaine Jones, Schalke, Eintracht Frankfurt, um, Demarcus Beasley of Jimmy Conrad's team. Of Apparently, course. Demarcus Beasley's. Is actually still very good. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me to fair. Giza was rapping in his day. Yeah, as well. that's the only thing. But then, do you reckon he's lost so much speed, or do you reckon he's like? I mean, there's only one way we're gonna find out in it. But you can't, you can't really open your legs in like a seven aside. Now nah, you think can. They're gonna be sharp, man. You, you can. You. Well, like speed, speed, beat, beat the press. Like if you, you know that little pop when it goes into the. Yeah. Psh, there's and no offsides either. So there's no offsides. Mm. Man, got to stand on the corner flag. And this is my point. <laughs> do some. Uh, Crazy tactics. <laughs> just stand on a corner for absolutely ping it out there. Sean Dye shit. Sean Dye. Put Greg and Teniola on each corner flag. <laughs> and just, just, like, and cool. just don't play with them at all the whole game. Just stretch them. <laughs> just stretch them. Yeah, Greg loves a ping as well. So that was I feel like we've got to just do some crazy tactics and go like go mad. Go rogue. Yeah. What, like from the start or like if you're struggling in a game? Nah, it's from the start. Like just try it. Like what's, what, uh, they ain't going to hurt us. Just what was the team people? that done that press yeah. once uh, in the international match? Netherlands with a whole team just sprinted. Oh, what for the free kick to play the offside? Is it free? No, yeah, it, I, mean, I think there's a loads kickoff of teams as well, but yeah, just oh, do something man. like that. I mean, Bournemouth scored from like what 10 seconds in this season, nine seconds. Yeah, we in tried to season. do that one game, but then the boys bottled it. Like, we had like a little kickoff routine that we wanted <laughs> yeah. to do, and then it's got to the start of the game. I was like, no, 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 let's not do it. Get off my shout out. <laughs> I'm just like, yo, like, so what was the point of talking about it <laughs> for like two, we spoke about it for like two weeks straight, like was going crazy in the group, like, we, like everyone was even inputting was their ideas. Was it the ideas. PSG Bournemouth like sort of thing? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Where it goes, da, da, da. Yeah. And then there was another one where like everyone stands on one side and then like, one, like Toby would stand on the other side and it was just like, I was going to face up to like, ping it that way and then just turn and ping it out to Toby <laughs> and he would have been 1v1. Then he was like, no, 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 don't do it. Bottled it. Yeah, he bottled it. What's, what's, what's going on in the club? Why is everyone bottling these sorts of things then? I don't know, man. You know what it is? Because when it goes wrong, you're pissed. Yeah, but we want the content, so we're the perfect club to do it. At. We don't play mm. for content; no, we play for is, wins. This is, this play is for true. the W. Play, play for championships. You think also, if you're planning against nah. next season, we're not going to be doing that next season. If you're thinking what? about getting that tactic, no, yeah. no, don't don't worry about it. That, it's not happening. That, that, that's also obviously come out yesterday as well. The uh, allocations for next year. Oh yeah, the league allocations. Your old club, Enfield. Yeah, I was there. I was there on the weekend for um, um, testimonial game because obviously I'm one of their legends. Was All it your friends. testimonial? Yeah. <laughs> nah, 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 it's not my testimony. Old enough, yeah. It, no, I'm, I'm old enough for a testimony. But um, yeah, I Just. was the, my old club. I've been there twice. Imagine I went back, back, forth twice. You're going to do an Adebayor celebration? Well, just ran up to them. <laughs> <laughs> when I was there at the testimonial game, I, I kept hearing things, but I couldn't hear it properly. Like, yeah, something, something YouTube, but I couldn't like figure out what they were saying. <laughs> like, like, the ball's going in behind and I'm running. But I didn't get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that on your YouTube or something like that. <laughs> oh, it's a giving... standard shout out hashtag yeah. though, bro. You should be used to that by now. Um, going back to some other players as well. They've got a, there's a whole team of like ex-pros that pretty much everyone will know uh, called West Blade Ham. and Grass. Oh, I thought you were going to say no, West No, no. Obviously, obviously West Ham's there, but I, yeah, I don't yeah. like that team. So we don't really talk Trudy about it. Trudy Wiggs, I did write them notes. So I should have known that was coming, <laughs> but I literally didn't know. <laughs> no, Blade and Grass. I mean, you've got Steven Island. I remember having him in my fantasy What's Premier League team. Is he playing, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Steven Island's playing. He's the, I rated him, yeah. Know? He's also had like an interview recently as well where he said he basically like didn't rate Gerard Skulls and Lampard. Huh? Yeah, it basically said like every time I come up against them, I was like better than them. Completely forgetting that. Come with that energy TST, mate. Yeah, but he completely forgot the fact that Chelsea beat him 8 0, Lampard scored twice. Chelsea oh. beat him 6 0, uh, Lampard scored. Him. Like, bro, City as well. They've Stick the blue flag up your channel. Yeah, <laughs> we're, not, we're not great. Moving swiftly on then. Uh, yeah, Jeff Cameron, Stoke and QPR. Uh, you've got. Uh, who else? Umar Nias. I thought, he, I thought he was still playing for like Morecambe or League One somewhere. I don't know who he is. But he was at Everton, Ooh, Senegalese Nyash. striker. Did you say Nyash? Um, Nyash. 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 <laughs> and uh, Chris Eagles. Man United, Bolton, Burnley. So they've mm. got a good pedigree in a team like that. Have you ever watched Chris Eagles play? I've seen him play a few times back in like the early, the late 00, what was it, 09, 10? Late 09. So 09, what, 10. December? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, yeah, about 10, 10, 12 years ago, yeah. How old was he then, like five? 
I've, I've, my maths is gone there. That's about 30 Your maths is not math then, mate. <laughs> it's, it's not, not it's, mathematical. It's not, it's not good. But yeah, coming up against X pros, what, what are we saying? You're not, not fast? Nah, not fast. I play with an X pro every week, Greg Halford. I thought you pointed at me then. <laughs> I was going to say, Luke Preston. What? <laughs> X-Pro, I yeah. Never X-Pro in training. Greg Halford, Nathan, Nathan Smith, X-Pro. I mean, Jimmy Conrad's in decent shape. Obviously, former, former yeah. hashtag. That's what I'm saying. It could be a bit, could be a bit techy. Do you, you had some choice words for, who was it last time? Who? Um, on the last episode of Untagged. Uh, Ocho Cinco. Yeah, Ocho Cinco. Chad Johnson. Chad Johnson? Who's Chad Johnson? That is, that is the same guy. That's the same guy. His name's Ocho Cinco Chad Johnson. That's a long name. <laughs> Super califragilistic I mean, history of doses, apparently. We've got them first game. 12, was it 12.15 or 12.30, I think? Yeah. EDT time. Great time. That's middle of the day. That's going to be hot. What time do we land? <laughs> few I think you have before. a media day the first day. Yeah, a few days day. before. So media got a bit, day? Yeah. Like what? Uh, we're doing media as well. It just says media day on the schedule. It's just so for you. It's, yeah, well, PK it's just for you. It's yeah. just your media day. So what? We land on the... 30th. 30th. And is is there like thirty one months, thirty one days in a month? Yeah, thirty one months in a day. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, so we have the thirty first to, to chill, basically. I think that's the media day, and then we got the first is the games. Oh, that's sweet then. And then second is uh, get the, the jet lag out. Third game. Get yeah. the jet lag out. Jet jet <laughs> jet lag jet lag <laughs> jet lag out, and then you get it. We're good to go. Yeah, I, you sound pretty confident, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be hard. It's not going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a jolly up. What the boys told you about the training then? No, nah, not about the training. I wasn't talking about the training. The training's, training's easy. I'm not really a training player anyway, though. Like mm. That's not me. I'm like, who, who was like that? Like Carlos Tevez. <sighs> Carlos Tevez apparently was the worst thing in training. But get to a game or oh, like, really? and running and that, like... You, you I in. think there's quite a few you hit like Berbatov was notoriously bad Hazard like just turn up on game day because they yeah. Edwin van der Sar would just not even go, turn up to train <laughs> <laughs> chops his fingers off before training and then I mean if you're that good then fair play yeah. I think there's some players we're not even mentioning which we've just you know kind of slipped through the cracks but you've got like Leon Best did we mention Leon Best? we did not no, they got Leon didn't. Best um Carton Cole and Anton Ferdinand Vaz <laughs> David Anton Martin Ferdinand's out there. <laughs> they're just like <laughs> It's not Ricky Martin, but it's David Martin. <laughs> uh, Matty Jarvis. Jack Martin. No? Just absolute players out there. I'm real ballers. Yeah, I mean, uh, you've also put down here Dwayne Di Rosario, who I've never seen play, but the most decorated Canadian player yeah. ever is pretty impressive. I think he's something like the ninth top goal scorer in MLS of all time. Is it, that's yeah? pretty decent, to be fair. To be fair, I reckon I could score a lot of goals in the MLS as well. Own goals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> that is that is interesting. Yeah, MLS can't. is a retirement home. Retirement home? E. Wow. Zlatan, Zlatan energy, cool yeah? It is, though. It's a retirement home for, for the pros, for the You top. say that, though, but I still think that the, the quality... No, the quality is mad. It's going to be mad still. I, know, I know what you're saying. I was yeah. going to say, I know bare people that have gone over to, like, college for or try and play colleges and stuff on the scholarships mm. and stuff and don't get anywhere but i know they're good footballers they're in a non-league setup now so it's uh interesting we should, we should definitely do like some segment on an app where we basically predict where we're gonna like finish a world cup predictions yeah, but like a, a tst one yeah. i feel like it's too hard to do that because you don't know like so many unknown no that's why countries. it's so funny because you go back and reflect in it and be like oh that they've done this we've done that <laughs> yeah we've, we've spoken about tst obviously buzzing for that one very excited make sure to keep up with the socials and stuff and, and all the content we've got going on there um let's talk a little bit more about the boys at hashtag uh play a new little segment something a bit different who's most likely to so the first question is who's most likely do you reckon to stay at hashtag forever and the players on the team. To stay at hashtag forever or the longest? I, well, the question what, what is why forever. Why would we do both? Yeah, both. Forever. So forever. <laughs> For the whole career. Just one club, one club hashtag. I have an idea. Oh, Max Cornell, because he's the oldest. Like, he, he could retire tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you know, like, it has to be Max Cornell. Actually, no, Greg's older than Max. But I reckon get, Greg will try and, like, like obviously, find he, he could try and find something else, but I reckon Max, Max is Max is there, man. Bury him in the, in Salomon Stadium. <laughs> Len Salomon. Yeah, Len what Stadium. about you, Lou? What do you reckon? For right, Faz, you reckon? Mm. Okay, I think he just loves the club, and he, he's obviously now come back in a sense. I'm going Harry Hayes. I mate. think if we grow, yeah, I mean, it's two, two defenders. You think Harry Hayes, Harry Hayes, yeah, hundred percent, man. Grows um, with the club, one club, man. 
came through the reserves. I reckon, one club. I reckon Harry Hayson goes into the Football League next season. Nah, not next season, man. Next season? No, nah, no. Nah, he, he's waiting for us. He's waiting for us? Yeah, yeah, he told me, yeah, yeah. Is it? <laughs> Why do you not say, not, you, I said next season, you're not rating. That means you're not rating Harry Hayson. No, I'm rating right him. I want him. Yeah, we want him at the club. That yeah. is more of a bias thing, isn't it? So it's head, yeah. it's a heart, not head. Uh, nah. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon Harry Hayson to the Football League next season. Yeah. As well as Jermaine, if he doesn't go this season. Following in the uh, footsteps of Scotty P, the two boys, very, mm. very. I, I don't disagree. To be fair, we we touched on it earlier briefly about obviously you playing your old club. Who's most likely to go to a rival team, score, and then doing like an Adebayor type celebration? Teniolo. Yeah, I put eighty years off. It'll, be, it'll be another YouTube team, won't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, Dulwich Hamlet. He's played for them before. If, we've, mm. if he scores against them, we beat them. He a hundred percent does. That. I'm looking forward to that fixture. Really looking forward to it because yeah, one they... of my friends, he's he's uncle, he's a co-owner of it. And they're like oh, sponsored by, <laughs> and then they're sponsored by Defected, which is like the music I like, house and that. And then, play, man. But AT with tennis is quite like a party place to play, isn't it? Yeah, man. I, I mean, they get decent crowds as well. Yeah, so they get like one, two thousand. That's decent. There's going to be some mad attendances next season as well. Yeah, like, geographically, like, the games we've got are they fur, m more further out? This is the best not? league to I be feel, in this year. I, I feel like it's more London, you know. Yeah. Is it? So like you've got a, a bunch of teams in London, but then you've got like the Bognars, Lewis. Um, Bognor Region, Kingstonian. Yeah. Now, Kingstonian's in London. Like, I think, like. Oh, you're talking West. outside London? Yeah. Oh, right, cool. Bognor is outside yeah, 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 yeah. London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Geography. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't concentrating. Wow. I'll be honest. You're not concentrating. I wasn't concentrating. I think Horsham is like. It's Horsham. It might it's be Victoria. Surrey. Nah, Sorry? Nah, nah, I think it might be Surrey. Don't quote me. We've got obviously, like, like, say, Dalich Hamlet. Haven't they got some sort of connection to like Peter Crouch or something? Yeah. I'm seeing those. I'm not sure comments. exactly what it is. I, don't, yeah, I do, didn't yeah. know about that. Yeah, I'm seeing people saying, oh, Peter Crouch should come and come to the games or commentate or something. But I don't think he's got any involvement there anymore, but he used to. But then they got Billy Ricky. Billy Ricky. Canvey. Canvey. Uh, Hornchurch. Local. Local. The, the league is quite local. It's a in good league. To in be comparison in. to last year, mm. like Goulston, Roxham, Lowestoft. Like it's more like you know it was more like Ipswich and mm. Colchester way, innit? With Sudbury, more obviously, good. a lot of people have been asking about where Sudbury are. They've gone into the southern, southern central. That uh, league is disgusting. Which is yeah, not a great league to be in that in terms of travel. That league is disgusting. So we're not going to play Sudbury again. Nope. Oh, well, unless yeah. we get them in the cup, obviously. But yeah, that's not unfortunate. In the league. It's a shame because I, th I think both games last year were, were classics. Mm. Proper, especially the one at home where we we won and obviously oh, went on to win the league. Cute. And uh, is that the game that I won the penalty? I think it is, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 I think it is. Jesus, yeah. I just nearly forgot. Big, <laughs> big players turn up for big games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, then. Next question: Who's most likely to go professional? Obviously, you spoke, mentioned Harry Hayson and Jermaine. I stand by it, Jermaine. I'll probably say yeah. Jermaine. You reckon this season, next season? What, what, what do you reckon? Boy, it just depends on what teams are looking for. It's possible to. It's, it's possible for him to go this season. Possible. Very. I feel like if he doesn't go this season, he should. If he has a season like he had last season, he'll definitely go next In a season. higher league or in this league or with us or without? With, with, with us in, in the same, in the, in the higher league that obviously that we're going to get into. I feel like in that, in that league, I feel like there's not a lot of players that have seasons like Jermaine and don't get moves. Mm. So I reckon he'll go. I mean, 27 goal contributions in 32 games last year is not bad. It's not bad. Not bad, it. is it? I don't even look at that as well, you know. I look at like your impact. I look at more time like the what you're test. actually doing. Yeah, the eye test, like the eye, because numbers are numbers, isn't it? Like numbers True. can numbers don't can lie, but numbers them. lie as well yeah. at the same time. But like he's unreal, man. He's, and his mentality as well. It's, yeah. it's great. He's elite. He needs to he needs to work on his media training though. <laughs> Voila, shout <Yeah>. man. <laughs> uh, what about uh, not not on the pro scene on the Love Island side of things? Not Toby, but who do you reckon if you had to pick someone from the squad would go Love Island? Damn. I think Greg, the over 40s. <laughs> over 40s so love, rude. The over 40s love island. I said they're doing that in the sum, in the winter, no? Or oh, overs? Yeah, they're over and 30s. What is it, like X-Factor, the overs category? Yeah. He's trying to hit a different demographic this year. <laughs> did, haven't you heard about that? No, 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 no. You haven't heard about no, that, No, did yeah? you get invited or something to host? Or? Nah, That's crazy. No, no, no. Maya Jam is doing it. Oh, like, I'll go. I, did, <laughs> I reckon Lou. Lou or... I was going to um, say Lou. Lou or Wyan. Nah. Wyan backs himself. Wyan. 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 Wyan's 100%. a funny guy, man. Why? Why? Yeah. is. I would. Not Lou. I don't think Lou would like to do something like that. Maybe not. I think he'd be good at it. Lou, yeah. Lou would be good to have like 
Cass or more like comes in, he's like a bit of a like Greek. Yeah, like, what are you got saying, a bit ladies? <laughs> he's like nah, from Greece. Wine, bro. Hey, wine would be hilarious. One hundred percent. Yeah. Wine would be him. hilarious to watch on Love Island. Imagine, imagine Matty Woodridge on Love Island. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we saying I um I play football. Uh, well, when Matt, he'll be, they'll be filming here. He'll be looking that way, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm Matty Woodridge. They'll be like, look at the oh camera. My God. Which one? <laughs> yeah, he's funny. So. What are you trying to say about Matty? He's not with that. Right? That, the confirmed. lights are on, but yeah. there's no one on. Oh, it's his no first date. Sure. <laughs> Signed up to the wrong show. Signed up to the wrong show. Is this undateable? <laughs> he looked on the, the wrong like, flight. should be. You're a nightmare to work with. <laughs> what about... Um, Who's my? I mean, I've got my own opinion on this one. I'm. I don't know whether you'll agree with me, but who's most likely to get arrested after a night out? Oh, there's a few, you know. Matty Woodridge, definitely. <laughs> yeah, Matty is Matty's probably at the same again. again. Matty, yeah, Matty, Matty, yeah, hundred percent. Matty, uh, just Matty. Yeah. <laughs> there's no one doing there's, anything outrageous, no. really. Let's be no. honest. No. I mean, Max Corner is a bit of a loose screen, <laughs> you know, by the way. On that team night out, I saw a different side of Max Corner. <laughs> no, who else I think? Benji. Oh! Benji, actually, that's a shout. <laughs> Benji, goalkeeper coach Benji, that's a shout. Benji's Flat getting bum. terrorist charges, bruv. He, he's on something else, bruv. Benji's, Benji's an angry man. After a drink, he Benji's gets Benji's funny, man. He'll oh. start grabbing you like he's going to choke slam you when you're yeah. out. <laughs> you're like, whoa, he can't tell if he loves you or hates you. I think, I think Wyan, after his antics last, last night out when we won the league, he, uh, he should be locked up. Uh, what about, uh, I know this one, this one's easy. Who's most likely to fake an injury? What is it? E-Man, bro. E-Man? We've literally seen him do it. That's, and there's that viral clip of him getting cramped like four times in like two minutes. What, a fake it so he doesn't play or fake it to waste time? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm gonna say don't I think play. Waste. You reckon don't? Uh, yeah, because that's too easy to answer. I reckon we do it. Okay. So all right. Oh, okay. Cool. Maybe we're getting hammered like three 0 and they're like, Someone's, oh, right, pulls Someone's yeah. done that before. What was it? What was it? Was it Great Waker in when Greg came off? He was definitely faking it. Was it Great Great Waker? Waker in? he came off. We won three 0 It was away. Yeah. He off. saw that pitch. He saw the kind of game it was, <laughs> and he was like, I'm not getting involved in this. So the, boys, <laughs> the boys have got this under wraps. Uh, I'm going to have a little breather. It's not the Britannia mm. Stadium, is no, it? No, Pedro. Pedro fakes an injury yeah. as well. Yeah? Yeah, yeah Pedro gets kicked. Have you heard when Pedro gets kicked? Yeah, I've seen him get kicked. Like, like in games, if, you, if, you, if he's close enough to the camera and Pedro gets kicked, you'll hear mm. him scream so <laughs> loud. It, it doesn't even need to be hard, like... If a fullback's on it and he's on kicking him up, he's faking an injury, Pedro. He's not you know he's really good at getting down as well. That sounds crazy. Whoa, by the way. hey, um, yo. Pause. No uh, question? Is uh, <laughs> Mike Aldridge, when, when he comes across someone, he yeah, just, he just, just goes, he just like loses all... He just... Huh? He thinks he's in nothing. He backs up. He thinks he's in nothing. He'll carnival. <laughs> he gives him a he's dirt. He's taking a mad turn. That is mad, by the way. This has got a bit crazy. Yeah, it's a bit off topic. No, Matty does do that, though. He likes to cut across, like he swings a leg. I hate that, you know, when he does it, I hate it. Because I'm like, it's nervy. It's nervy to watch, though, isn't it? But, you know, fair play to him, he says, one thing I always do is drop on the ball. Mm. So it's like, even if the ref doesn't, you're going to you're gonna have to yeah, stop 100%. it for something. I'm like, fair play, man. But smart. I just feel like the refs, refs at this level are so like up and down. It's just like, you don't want to give leave it to chance. And then the last one we've got, who's most likely to support two teams at once? I'm going to say AT. AT, you reckon? What, Beatties and Hashtag? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go with E-Man. Because I think E-Man does Sheffield. You just hate him, bro, isn't it? No, no, no. He supports Sheffield United. What? Well, you didn't know that. Huh? What? You didn't know? support Sheffield United. Oh, I, I don't even know what he's put in the video, but he's, he, he supports, no, Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield sorry. Wednesday. He supports Sheffield Wednesday. He's all got tops and stuff of Sheffield Wednesday. What, so he supports Wednesday, Wednesday and United. <laughs> <laughs> that would be criminal. That would be good. Nah, thought, yeah. Isn't he like Arsenal or United or something? But then he, I think he's an Arsenal supporter as well. He gets loud whenever what, there's what, a Premier League. Ben White? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. A bit of a I'm trying to do a Terry Arena. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're good oh friends. <laughs> oh friends. my God. He tried showing us all text, didn't he, recently? He's like, no, I've been texting him. Like, look, look. But e, e man, I'm not being funny. We literally had you sit here, bro. And, uh, and NHS, NHS called, didn't, you didn't pick up. So it's a bit of a sticky one still. Mm. Uh, all right, then. Let's let's move on to some other stuff we've seen in, the, in and around the, the news this week. Uh, we've seen the an interesting thing, actually, I thought was really good from the Prem. They had uh, Howard Webb and the PGMOL on to talk about VAR 
and they talked through the decisions. So you can hear the on-field yeah, refereeing and stuff. You've seen so that? so good. Yeah. I think it's brilliant. I, I think, think they should do I it live. I think they've taken a long time to do that, but it should get to the point what they do in Australia where they actually run it through the broadcast mm. because a lot of refs have made decisions that have really messed up teams, I think, like in the past. Mm. And I do think that they go away and I know they probably get like, I don't know what the repercussions are, but if you can at least be able to let the fans and the people hear what's being said at the time. Understand the decision and, process. And even just to educate us. Because yeah. then I think that'd be... Well, I mean, it's like, it's like the offside decisions, for example, like why they keep it delayed. Like you see it does, like there's a reason for it because if they score and yeah. the decision's wrong, yeah. then you haven't affected the game. Some delays are very dangerous though. <sighs> yeah. Like say if one's so clear cut, right, so offside, but they don't call it and then you get a, keeper, a striker and a keeper just bang like that. But then some of, some of them though, like I will say like in their defense, some, some of them, them are super look tight. ridiculous yeah, exactly. and are but when, onside. But like when Joe Ellington off, the other week yeah, looked offside. Like I, I went, yeah, yeah. flag, why? he's so blatant, flag. And he's onside. I was like, yeah. what the? It's mad. So it's, it's a bit of a bit of a sticky one. But I think, I think you're right. Bring it into the broadcast eventually mm. at some point. So at least you can hear like the uh, official on the, can't remember which one it was. I think it was the Joe Ellington one. He apologized afterwards. Yeah, bro, it's like that much in it. Imagine yeah, apologizing did, yeah. if you give the give the ball away. I like. think it's probably. I think it's sometimes, like depending on like if a game is like really like tight and it's like back and forth, back and like you know, tennis match. I think it's harder to be a liner than a ref. Oh, a hundred percent. I've done both. I hated running a line. It's tough. Hated it. Because yeah. in the game, like if you're in the middle of the pitch, you feel like you're like trailing it. You feel like you're a part of it, innit? Yeah. But when you're lying, you've got to speed. You've got to watch be both. on it. You've got to watch two things at, at one. You've got to watch the line and watch the ball at the same time. It's, Would you ever go into tough. officiating? Nah, no chance. What? No chance. <laughs> I Have black. you seen the way you talk like yellows I went every day? I black socks to my knees <laughs> <laughs> like they're stockings. You seen this guy talk to refs? I don't, I don't, I don't bad mouth refs. I no, he's just in their ear the whole game. Yeah, You'd but I, a... <laughs> I'm never rude to refs. Never. I always say to, I always say to the boys, the refs, the refs are people like they, they have feelings true, true. as well. You don't want them to get a little grudge and just start trying to do like dumb stuff because refs do do that. But I hate like refs that tell you to shut up and stuff like. Just have a some, conversation. Yeah, like, there's some rude refs. But I think rugby, the rugby do that like, so, like yeah. um, mm. broadcast their thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you can yeah, hear yeah. them. Yeah, when they call some of the penalties. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can hear them, like Nigel Owens is the fa famous rugby ref. Like you mm. can hear him talking through the decision. It just, I think it helps us as viewers understand. What but the people for. on the pitch, I mean, the people in the crowd, sorry, the fans that are watching the game live, they won't know what the, the ref is saying. So it's still going to bring a, like, a mad atmosphere into the stadium. Mm. Yeah. I, th I think, obviously, I don't know about you, but, but I, if I go to a game... Media, isn't it? Well, I was going to say, I go to a game and I'll watch back the highlights afterwards because your view is completely different. But in that, at the time, if a referee, yeah. if you think the referee's made the wrong decision, you're just you're going mad at it. Yeah. But I think that's part of the game is the, yeah, part the atmosphere it. in a big stadium mm. rightly or wrongly at the end of the day as well like when they run VAR they run them up on the screen anyway so you can mm. kind of you can have an idea of what's happening but you don't yeah. hear the process but yeah. I think that's important for broadcasting purposes anyway hopefully they roll it out at some point yeah I think so um, I'm going to speak to um, the FA yeah have a word bro you've got contacts in it you know George, that um, I'm going to speak to George Best George Best yeah fair yeah. player to be fair uh, City can they do the treble what do you reckon? Your old club, PK? Yeah, my old club, yep. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've won a Premier League before. Do you reckon they've got what it takes to win a... When did you win the Premier League? Um, 2017. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. A 2017, 18? Yeah. This season, Chelsea won it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was you on loan when you were, Chelsea. Were you, you were playing... I was playing right back. Yeah, yeah, I'm so kidding. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it was City. Yeah. <laughs> and you done, it was City you or Liverpool. Like, you, didn't, you didn't get called out that year, actually. I, that's not the year that I got PFA. Yeah. Uh, right back, mm -hmm. innit? Yeah. yeah, right back. That's what, well, Kyle Walker was injured for a bit, so obviously Pep Adiola chatted me. Adiola? Yeah, Pep Adiola. Want to roll with the geese? Uh, wow. Don't <laughs> ever what? do that again. <laughs> <laughs> go then. C City treble. City treble. What do you reckon? I think they're going to do it, you know? If they don't do it Pains this year, then, then, it, then it's just like, you know what? Does he retire? I mean, does he like get what, sacked? Pep? Yeah. If he doesn't do it this year. With what's Holland, that? man. What's that? How, how long has he been there? Eight years now? Nine, I think, maybe. Yeah, was it 12, 13? They won the, the first mm. first one. So, t yeah, 10. 10 seasons. And, and, and I, think, I think they'll do it. 
That's PSG, mad. PS, but PSG, then PSG are gonna. Oh, this is gonna be mad. Now, nah, I, I, I semi want City to do it, man. Just get it over and done with, man. Yeah. <laughs> you can try and, then, to, and then wait for the downfall. Yeah, like you can go and, I feel like they do it and then take out all the money and then yeah, <laughs> go yeah, yeah. We're going. We're gonna buy someone else now. Yeah. That's, that's that, guys, I think. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this episode of Untagged. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Humbility. Uh, looking forward to TST now. One thing coming up that we do have, obviously, as well as TST, is the Reserves Cup final. I'll be playing. Stampy will be playing. Uh, so that'll be Saturday, live stream for members only. So if you're not a member, join. What are you doing? Join. Eddie literally said he wanted to redo the uh, the outro just so you guys can watch him play. <laughs> yeah, bro. That is... That, that is class. That's yeah. class. Hey, Plug look, it. Why not? Listen, charges it again. So if you want to see him do a couple of attempted nutmegs, uh, pass the ball heavy to touches, yeah. Yeah. kick the ball off, that's what you'll get. Uh, make sure you subscribe. If you uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and comment. And uh, leave us a review if you're listening to Spotify. Uh, and yeah, until next time, don't forget to hashtag it. Come on. <laughs>